Welcome back to We Play Games. I'm Walker, and here we are playing Crusader Kings 2 After the End Fan Fork. Unfortunately, I'm having stability issues with the CK3 version of After the End, but I love the world, and I think that a lot of the history, even if the details are a little different between 2 and 3, I think the history is going to be basically the same. And so to give you just an overall view of what we're doing here, we're playing in California, and we're playing as the Californian Emperor in the CK3 version. They are the Talanke dynasty. Here in CK2, they're the Yudko dynasty, but the story of that dynasty is pretty similar. So the empire here of California, whether it's the Yudko dynasty or the Talanke dynasty, was founded by a character who also founded a religion. Now, the religions are going to be syncretic and philosophical, but they're also going to be drawing on the spiritual history of California and the incredible diversity there, but this this figure uh, founded a dynasty that conquered most of California, but unfortunately has fallen on rough times recently. In the CK2 version, after the end fan fork, there was an uprising called the Green Sash Uprising that was clearly inspired by the Yellow Turban Uprising towards the end of the Eastern Han, um, and there was a, a bunch of chaos that occurred. And here in the CK2 version, there's been a lot of time for consolidation. So local warlords have risen up and used their ability to, to own personal armies and subjugated other warlords near them. And so rather than having a lot of different states fighting for control, now we're down to the last six. But unfortunately, we're still here um, hanging out in Sacramento with very little power in the world. We're hoping, however, that we can begin to reassert some of our, our Californian power. And the way that we're gonna go about doing this is that we are going to pick a fight with King Pollock of the Valley, our rival. He has insulted us and has referred to us as the Prince of Sacramento rather than as the true Emperor of California. And so despite the fact that Elton is a, a very learned man, a man who of scholarly pursuits, he has gotten personally involved now in this politic uh, and is beginning to conspire against King King Pollock, and we are going to try to have him assassinated. If we can king, if we can kill King Pollock, um, we'll install one of his sisters as the the new Lord of the Valley. But by doing so, we'll have them swear loyalty to us, um, and then we'll pick up an entire kingdom. Hopefully. Oh, all right. So the governor of SoCal has abdicated. Zack is the descendant of the Abbas dynasty, which was this um, dynasty that formed an independent imamate down here in Southern California. And now we're just going to hope that um, Zack the Restorer, Zachariah the, the Restorer, ends up becoming our vassal. Because if we can pick him up, yes, there we go. So we picked up all of California in, in one quick succession there. Um, so yeah, if we can just assassinate King Pollock, uh, then we should have all we need to get two kingdoms really, really quickly. Well, this seems like quite the misstep for you, young fella. So uh, King Pollock of the Valley has attacked us, despite the fact that now we have all of Southern California uh, as nominally loyal. This is gonna be bad for you. We also have a lot of allies. All right, Graham is is beginning a plot. So unbeknownst to our uh, our enemy here, King Pollock, his brother in fact hates him, or at least is willing to work with us to have him killed. Um, and unfortunately for for King Pollock, Graham is his spy master. So I'm hoping that if we can combine forces, <gasps> there it is. Excellent. So the Valayan War of of uh, rivalry has ended. The, uh, the war that the valley started where they attacked us, that war is over, but we can turn around and claim the valley in the name of Chelsea, uh, our daughter-in-law. I don't know if our army is gonna be strong enough to scare, ooh, no, it, our army is just weak enough to bait the, uh, the Valayan troops into an attack. So now they're gonna be trying to attack across the river and we have, we have reinforcements coming in, but so do they. Are our troops going to hold off? Yes, good. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna win this battle, start the uh, start the war off right, and then we're gonna get three thousand five. We're almost gonna double the size of our army when the Shasta uh, Cascade troops show up. That is gonna be a big deal. And we have also legitimized our son, um, Galen, the bastard, because uh, he's our friend. So I I saw no reason not to legitimize him. Yes. All right, with the Shasta Cascade troops here, we will be in great shape. 
Yeah, we have 9,000 troops. Justice should always prevail. We have a blind commander, a 27 martial skill blind commander, movement speed, retreat, defense. Yeah, you know, we just got our commander in chief. He just walked in off the streets and said, I don't know what you guys have been doing so far, but uh, I've got a better strategy. And boy, does he ever. Holy cow. Darren the blind is a genius. Is he literally a genius? He is literally a genius. Awesome. I love, I lo that's what I love about Crusader Kings is these little emergent stories. Are we gonna go ahead and just attack them into the hills? Yeah, we outnumber them by so much. Darren, make it happen. Show us, show us why we put you in charge, kid. Uh, but these little emergent stories are, are really fun and I think they add a lot of flavor to the game. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing the CK3 version. So yeah, we, we are gonna use Darren the Blind and crush val the Valley troops. We move so fast with him, plus 47% movement speed is no joke. Unfortunately, we're not like geniuses of, of siege anywhere, but that's fine. Because what, what I'd like to do, I'd like to be able to attack um, for Gran Francisco, because we have an old ruler of Gran Francisco in our court, actually. Yeah, we'll just go destroy the valley, the valley army once more. Uh-oh, somebody, did somebody die? Oh, our... Our ally up in Shasta died. All right, well, we are gonna go ahead and offer alliances to all of the new um, Shasta boys. Cause if any of them make it, I wanna be allies with them. And if all of them make it, then I can be allies with all of them, call them all in. All we really needed from uh, Shasta Cascade was was troops. And now by allying all of them, we, we'll, we'll keep them all employed. And this is the sort of diplomatic maneuvering that Elton IV is gonna have to do in order to reassert imperial authority here. Just have everybody come down, join up with the royal army. You can only get 75% war score from uh, from battles, so we do need to siege them down a little more. Darren the Blind. You know, maybe we'll get Darren a, a wife. All right, so King Cullen of Gran Francisco, we can assemble a huge plot power to assassinate him. So yeah, I guess we will. Who did, he also got his spy master mad at him interesting i don't know i don't know what's going on where all these guys are getting assassinated by their spy masters it's pretty weird that right oh king colin died under suspicious circumstances the valley is ours queen chelsea the usurper has been installed but you know what that's fine we have legitimized her rule we're also gonna go ahead and dissolve our alliance with king stuart we're not interested in being uh allies we are interested in bringing Gran Francisco back into the fold. Ah, our, our uh, claimant to Gran Francisco died, unfortunately, uh, and therefore our ability to take the entire kingdom back in one in one easy war is gone as well. If, if Zack can win this war for the Channel Islands, then we'll have all of Southern California under our control too. Elton the Fourth, the surfer. All right, we are being sucked into a war in Jefferson now. That's okay. We we have the military strength to to help our our old allies out. So we're being we're being called to arms by our our Honeyman Alliance, which unfortunately our brother died. Um, so our alliance I don't think actually exists anymore. But uh, given how unbelievably important that alliance was, we will absolutely absolutely help them out because Elton the fourth would have gotten nowhere without the uh the assistance of Jedediah the hunter yeah just like that we got all of southern California back all right Darren the blind can you can you make it you logistical madman plus 47 movement speed is insane yeah we got there right on time to crush the the royal army outside of Reno Yes. Unfortunately, we did use our allies as bait, but you know, somebody needed to somebody needed to serve as bait. Oh no, Zach's Zach is sick. Oh no, he died. Well, all right, poor Zach. He he did so much work to restore us, and then died. Ah, good. Now Prince Galen is the uh, the new heir. There we go. Oh well, Prince Stanford of Jefferson. Would you like your old job back? We have invited, so we just helped um, our friends in Shasta depose him. But now we are gonna go ahead and invite him back to our court. Um, he does have cancer, so he is gonna die. Hopefully not immediately. Darren, lead our troops across the desert. Yes, oh my God, he's so fast. 
So now, now we're gonna really like uh, 4D chess everybody. We have the old prefect of Jefferson in our court. So we're gonna take him and we're gonna go ahead and press his claim on his own son. Now we just need um, Stanford to live long enough for us to press this claim. That's it. Um, and Reno and Lassen haven't even recovered their their garrisons from the the last siege. Oh man, Darren, are you gonna catch this army here? I mean, you're way too fast to not catch them. Elton the Fourth, the surfer, has become a werewolf. I'm just gonna catch the Jeffersonian army and blow it apart. They lost 700 troops. We lost 100. Oh right, the Jeffersonian army is still out there. Um, but not for long, because we're going to finish sieging these things down, and then we're going to bring our massive armies that are a lot faster. Both of my daughters died within, like, just a little over a month of each other. That's, that's very sad. My goodness, we're getting so close. We're just following right behind the rebels, basically. Yes, there we go. We got it. Excellent, excellent. Elton the Fourth does it again. Oh man, what has just happened here? So Elton has successfully used uh, an instability in Jefferson um, against itself and has successfully manipulated Stanford the, the first into being deposed and then bringing him back in. Wow, oh man. We haven't brought all of Jefferson under our control yet though, because there's still this uh, territory out here and out here. Um, and so our, our move to the north is not complete. But whoa, look at that. Elton the Fourth, the surfer, is is definitely surfing. Unfortunately, Sanford the First is probably gonna die sooner rather than later. We're gonna we're gonna prepare ourselves for a war to to take back Baja, I think. Oh, an opportunity to deal with uh, the Carmines, you say. So now we're gonna break our non-aggression pact with King Stuart. Either we'll um ooh. Either we'll take them piecemeal or we'll take them all at once. I don't really care. Anywhere we can find a claimant, we will take them and we will press their claim. I'll even go down to, to pressing the claim of uh, ounce, if, it, if that's what it comes down to. Anyone willing to align themselves with us? Oh no, my wife died. That's sad, we were in love. Oh, they're attacking for Tijuana. Well, I hope that our ally makes it. That would be pretty awkward if he lost his territory. But we are we are starting to fight down there. I think we should come up with a way to to bring Death Valley into the fold. Sure, we'll marry we'll marry an heir to Death Valley. Hey, you know what? We're gonna join a, a holy war in defense of our faith out here. Excellent. They were actually gonna win the war on their own, but I, I feel better about it this way. Because we are gonna need to come up with a way to uh, subjugate these guys out here, because they're also part of the Californian Empire, right? The easiest ways to get these guys to join up is to have them be friends of yours. Excellent, right? That's thematic, I think. All right, cool, we got it. These guys might be within gift range too. Excellent, excellent, holy cow. So Elton just went on a diplomatic conquering spree over there. But wow, we just took back most of Nevada, or a big chunk of it at least. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna start this way. We're gonna go ahead and claim Golden Gate on, uh, Gran Francisco. I don't think we're going to be able to find a claim on the entirety of the kingdom all at once, but if we can take San Francisco away from them, we will get a lot stronger and they will get a lot weaker. And this will be really fun because it'll be pressing the claim of one of the uh, the court characters. So in the court, we have um, this character, Chen Daoming, who was a, a governor of Gran Francisco, but he was kind of one of Elton IV's characters. He was considered an incredibly weak character, even though he was very intelligent, um, and he ended up being deposed. But his son here, uh, Chen Xuan, um, he's, he's a very smart character while also being a good military leader. Unfortunately, he is now infirm, so if we don't press his claim, he will, this uh, entire path will die without making anything of it. I think we are now strong enough that we can 1v1 um, San Francisco. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it. Let me even get a little bit of troops out of Nevada. Darren's gonna go down here to lead the uh, the troops up from Southern California. And then we should have just a, an enormous army in comparison to them. Just completely obliterated the army of Gran Francisco. And then we'll just go, go siege it down, I guess. We'll, uh, we'll capture their capital first. 
Elton the Fourth had his uh, he had to actually have one of his hands cut off because he was having some kind of cancer, um, but that that managed to keep him alive, and so now we are continuing our reign. Yeah, we're gonna be able to siege this way faster than they will because we have Sacramento. The Great Imperial Palace is not not easily seized by by warlords. By taking San Francisco and putting it into the hands of a loyalist of ours, we are going to start the process of absorbing Grand Francisco. We'll probably have to take it one war at a, at a time, uh, one duchy at a time. That's okay. I like As long as we get there, that's good enough for me. And here we are. We are going to get there and install um, Chen Xuan as the, the new prefect of Golden Gate. Elton now is going to say he's going to try to set up and see the realm prosper because he has done a lot to try to restore the power of, of California, but he knows that he can't do it all in one lifetime. Um, so instead, we are going to just try to set ourselves up for an easy succession here into the line of Prince Galen the Bastard. And now we actually can murder um, King Stuart of Gran Francisco now that we've uh, successfully attacked him because it seems as though, yet again, the spy master in Gran Francisco, in this case his wife, uh, hates him enough to, to help us. And if we just keep taking out people down here in, in Gran Francisco, destabilizing it, and taking it one duchy at a time, we might be able to... Oh, there it is. There was a, a rebellion here in the south of Baja. Baja really has just been kind of disintegrating recently. Um, and so now we've, we've found that the Sagrado Corazon characters have declared an independent merchant republic down here. So we can actually declare a holy war. So we are going to do that. We are going to take our position as a, a resurgent Californian empire um, and say that the, the Yudko dynasty is going to personally oversee the construction of a, a new Cedic territory down here. Everyone's going to march together down to Los Angeles. And then from Los Angeles, we're going to smash this peasant uprising. And then we'll march down to Bahasur. Oh man, there they are. All right, we, we caught them. I think, I think we're going to catch them in a, a battlefield that they can't escape. Yeah. And now, having destroyed their army... We're going to march down and we are going to besiege. Oh no, and then Elton the Fourth died. Um, so now we have Galen the Bastard is in uh, is in the control over here. Now we have Galen the Bastard uh, queued up to be our next character here in the Prince of Sacramento campaign. Um, but we have risen way above that. Look how much of California we've re we've retaken. We're, we're actually in a, a point where all we're waiting for are for the right claimants, and then we should be able to bring California back together in, in one generation um, if Galen can live it. We, one thing that we did skip over that was helpful in our restoration um, was actually Zachariah II. So so this history isn't in the CK3 history. In CK3, Zach does exist, but he is a count because Islam is less unique in Southern California. There are a lot of different religions that exist inside of California in CK3, whereas in CK2, they've all kind of synchronized together, except for Imamite. The reason being that in the CK2 version, the Kingdom of SoCal was actually founded by an Abbas dynasty character before uh, the rise of Elton Yudko, Elton the Lawgiver. But one of the heirs, specifically this guy Musa the Bowed, he actually ended up becoming a vassal of Elton and therefore establishing power from California in Southern California. And that, that vassalization not only was incredibly important for Elton because it allowed him to continue his resources uh, elsewhere, but it was also important for the Abbas dynasty because it meant that they were the, uh, the long-standing rulers down here. But there's, a, there's an internal history and what ends up happening is um, basically there is a powerful general um, named David of Oceanside, David Carmine, and he he gets his daughter married to um, Imam Yasir Abbas, and then he dies, and the nephew of the Carmines succeeds, and then 
is also killed under suspicious circumstances. Everyone killed under suspicious circumstances. And then William Carmine, the son of David, usurps the throne, but doesn't wipe out the Abbas dynasty. And Zechariah II, the restorer, he has a story event that allows him to restore the power of the Abbas dynasty down there because of the, the unique history of the area. That history, it doesn't seem is going to translate over to CK3, um, because it's my understanding that the Zachariah character was a self-insert character by one of the devs, uh, and people just didn't feel good about including it in the mod, at least not in this story of the mod, as deeply as it is here. But that's, you know, that's a creative decision that was made. That said, there are still Muslims living in Southern California in the CK3 version because they, they're one of the diaspora communities that holds on to its own identity in the event in the aftermath of the event, right? Um, and so there is a, a one province, I think it's in Orange or it's in Oceanside, it's somewhere down there, where there is a majority Muslim community in charge. But California has a very different flavor in CK3, and so I, I'm really curious to see how it actually plays out. I Personally, I love the green sash history here. I think that the way that they tied the Californian history to the history of the Eastern Han is really fun. But one thing that I'd love to see in the CK3 version is the green sash uprising actually occurring and then having smaller Californian states emerge. Because one of the things that we skip over in the CK2 version is that there's only six warring states at the beginning. In the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, there's hundreds of warlords all vying for competition. During the warring states period, there were hundreds of states vying for competition. The way these states and warlords operated in real history is that they would, of course, conquer each other, absorb each other's lands, and by absorbing lands get stronger and stronger, and so then the the states would eventually condense, and then you'd have fewer and fewer warring states. But like, we start, I think, past some of the the madness that you could capture in a California game in the in the CK2 version. So if in if in CK3 we can get like real civil wars in California, that would be really fun. I would love to play um, essentially a, a Californian Cao Cao. So that w if if that sounds like a a good time to you, let me know. So epi the next episode of the uh, the Prince of Sacramento campaign will have us picking up with Celestial Emperor Galen the Bastard and see if he can be the one to finish off the restoration of the Yudko dynasty here on We Play Games. All right, take care.